That's a key issue. If you're going to go deeper in your faith, you have to be ready to sacrifice for your faith. What does it mean? It means that you have to be willing to pay a price. That's what a sacrifice is. It costs you something. There's a price that you're willing to pay for following God. See, I will tell you that it's extremely important to be willing to pay a price to follow God. Jesus gave his all for you, did he not? He gave everything for you. He held nothing back when he went to the cross. He took your sins and my sins. Think about every sin you've ever committed and how much judgment you you deserve from God for just the sins you have committed in your life and I've committed in mine. But the Bible says that Jesus took that penalty. He paid the price. He took all of our punishment for us. And then he simply says, will you follow me? And there are going to be some sacrifices that you, you will need to make along the way. And Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego, they were willing to sacrifice and suffer if need be for their faith. See, there were some consequences. If you don't bow before the golden idol, what's going to happen to you? You're going to be thrown where? Into the fiery furnace. They knew that, but nevertheless, they were willing to stay consistent in their deep relationship with God and only worship him. Take a look with me, if you will, at Daniel chapter 3 again, verses 16 through 18. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied to him, that's to the king, King Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. This is the matter of worshiping the false god. If, notice what, if we are what? Thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to deliver us from it. And he will deliver us from your majesty's hand. Let's stop there for a moment. They had the confidence that if even if they paid the, they, they, they paid the price of being thrown into the fiery furnace, they had confidence that God could get them out. Okay. They had the confidence that God could and would deliver them. But it doesn't stop there. Notice what, what they continue by saying. But even if he does not, does not what? Even if he does not deliver us out of this furnace, we want you to know, your majesty, that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. They made the decision to stand for God no matter what the cost was. They trusted God to deliver them, but they were also willing to say, even if he doesn't deliver them, we're willing to pay the ultimate price for the fact that we are only going to worship God. This is deep faith. 